Today's subject, Finding Me. Amen. I'm Pastor Jermaine. And I'm Pastor Alicia. And you are watching Lift, Life Inspiration for Today. Praise God. You know, it's God's will that you know who you are. Yes. And he's placed scripture after scripture in his word to lead you to the place of purpose. Yes. You know, you just have to know where to look for it. Right. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Hmm. The, the message translation of that says, I know what I'm doing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have it all planned out. Right. Plans to take care of you, not to abandon right. you. Plans to give you the future you hope for. Wow. Now, you really have to allow that to sink down into your That's spirit. That's right, yeah. Because oftentimes, by the time we're adults, we've had so many people give us their opinion about right. our life that it can wow. seem, you know, sometimes to be difficult to distinguish mm -hmm. just who we were created to be right. from who others want us to be. That's good, Pastor Jermaine. You know, many times we are searching for ourselves in the midst of the plan that others are trying to write for us yeah. and not the plan that God has already written for us in his word. That's good. So uh, God doesn't make carbon copies. That's right. I mean, yeah. none of us are, are exactly the same. That's right. Each of us are distinctively different yeah. from, from each other in the world. Mm -hmm. So in, in a day and time, when individual identity can be lost right. with, in, in the fads, and fashions, right, even right. the facades in our society, mm -hmm. it's extremely important that we find ourselves mm. in God's word. That's good, Pastor Jermaine. You know, Luke chapter 12, verse six and seven, the message translation, one of my favorite scriptures because it expounds on how God sees us mm. as individuals. Yeah. It says, what's the price of two or three pet canaries? Hmm. Some loose change, right? <laughs> right. But God never overlooks a single one. Mm. And he pays even greater attention to you. Yes. Down to the last detail, even numbering the hairs on your head. Wow. So don't be intimidated by all this bully talk. You're worth more than a million canaries. <laughs> Praise that God. That's so awesome. Love that scripture. In other words, he sees each of us as individuals. That's right. He knows who you really are. That's right. Not just who you, you show other people that you are. That's good. Wow. And, you know, and since he is our creator and we didn't create ourselves, in order for us to truly discover who we are, mm. we must first truly discover him. That's so good, Pastor Jermaine. You know, finding him connects you to who he created you to be. Yeah. God created you to be full of purpose. Wow. But your purpose is only really realized as you find yourself in God's word. That's good. You know, Pastor Jermaine, a balloon is designed and created to expand as mm -hmm. air is blown into it. Yeah. To be more than it, it initially appears at first glance to be. Yeah. Its true purpose, though, is not really realized until air is blown into it yeah. and it expands. Yeah. Air yeah. for the balloon has the same impact as the word of God in your life. So as you fill yourself mm -hmm. with God's word, you expand and you realize and begin to function in your purpose. That's good. So the more you fill yourself with God's word, right. the more fulfilled you are. That's and good. you know, air can pop a balloon, but you can't be uh, too filled with That's God's good. word. You, you can't know? have too much word in your life. Yeah, it's yeah. not going to cause you to burst. It's just going <laughs> to cause you to continue to grow That's good. in him That's and good. find yourself in him. That's good, Pastor Jermaine. You know, now finding yourself in God's word is not about us seeking to use the word solely for our own personal gain. Right. Although we can see in God's word that prosperity is a byproduct of us seeking God. Yes. Finding yourself in God's word hmm. is about you being fulfilled yeah. from the inside out, yeah, exactly. drawing closer to God, reading his word, spending time with him in prayer, in worship, going to church, right. receiving spiritual guidance from faithful others. Yeah. As you're fulfilled on the inside, yes. then your life begins to take the shape that it's supposed to on the outside. <laughs> That's good. So, so your answers won't be found in a crystal ball or somebody reading your palm That's for good. you. You know, God, your creator, he will reveal to you who you are as you set aside time 
to spend with him. Amen. Proverbs 3, 5 says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him mm -hmm. and he shall direct thy paths. Every path that God has called you to walk, Amen. he will direct you to it as you spend time with him. Amen. Praise God for the word. <laughs> Praise God. So this week, this week, find yourself by spending more time with God. Yes. Submit your plans to him yeah. for his approval or for his denial. Right. Re read the plans he has for you in his word yes. and allow him to direct your paths mm. and to help you discover who he created you to be. Amen. Praise God. I'm Pastor Jermaine. And I'm Pastor Alicia. Thanks again for tuning in to this week's Lift. We'll be back next week with another inspiring word, sure to give you the lift that you need to enjoy your week. Praise God. God bless you. We love you. God bless you. We'll see you next week.